physical encounter at a political rally and it's caught on camera. Now charges filed against the director of security for the Virginia Wesleyan University. Reporter Margaret Cavanaugh joining us in the studio. You've got the video on this. How did this all unfold? Yes, we met with the man in the video earlier today. Now, a few Trump supporters showed up at Bernie Sanders rally and were asked to leave by security and things quickly escalated. Video captured this incident last Saturday night. Marcus Goring says he showed up to support President Trump and protest the Bernie Sanders rally. But he and other protesters were asked to leave. Yelling at me, I have to leave the property now. Leave. They were told to leave several times. Marcus said they had some questions. Because we still wanted to know if they're authorized to say so. We didn't know these people. They didn't show us their badge. They didn't give us a name. They give us nothing. But he says things escalated as they were making their way to their cars. When the security card, who was a little bit in front of me, turned around, went into my back, pushed me, and said, move on or move faster, I turned around, hold my hand against him and said, do not touch me. Then he says it got worse. I saw him pulling out the baton and that's when I really felt threatened and I sort of ran for my life then. He says he suffered minor injuries and filed charges against Victor Dorsey. He's listed as the director for security for the university on their website. Earlier this week, the university issued a statement saying that the Sanders campaign requested a venue on the private property, that the university, police and private security with the campaign worked diligently to maintain public safety and order. It went on to say the video shows a security officer engaged in an altercation with a disruptive attendee in the parking lot prior to the rally. It states, unfortunately, the video does not depict the preceding actions of the individual that necessitated the officer to take action. But Marcus disagrees and says he feels his rights were violated. Why are you taking my First Amendment rights away? Um, this is a public event. So why am I not allowed to be here? The university previously stated that they hold freedom of speech and open dialogue at the deepest core of its values. However, when the conversation turns to physical violence, becomes a threat to public safety, they will not tolerate it on campus. That was from a statement they sent us earlier in the week. Today, when I reached out again, they said they can't comment any further on the situation at the advice from their lawyers. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3.